lighting is not in everyone's DNA. Today I have a guest who's a travel blogger. She's gonna take us through her journey. She's gifted in writing. Thank you so much guys for tuning into my channel today. My name is Naomi. Let's hear more from Kemzi. Remember this is Taylor Tell. Welcome Kemzi. Thank you for having me. Perhaps you can tell the viewers who's Kemzi. Uh, Kemzi is a travel blogger. Mm -hmm. um, an eight to five, uh, I have an eight to five job, but I wow. try blog during my weekends. How do you juggle the two? Because I know in, in Nairobi it's, it's it's crazy. Hey Nairobi, you have to hustle. Yeah, I know, right? But now, okay, I work from eight uh, from Monday to Friday. On Saturdays I do my off days, and on Sunday, so I get to travel or during weekends or during public holidays, or I use up my late days. Oh, yes. okay. Yes. So how do you create time for writing? Because I know it takes long, long hours and long hours. Uh, let's say I travel on Saturday and Sunday. So during the week from Monday to Friday, uh, early, either early in the morning or way later during the day, in the evening, yes, that is when I do my writing. Wow. Because I can't do the writing during the weekend when I'm traveling. Yeah, true. Yes. Wow. So perhaps maybe just take us back. Eh? Mm -hmm. When did you start? When did you start blogging? I actually started blogging last year in October, mm -hmm. uh, out of boredom. Really? Yes. I was at work, I was bored. And then the idea came to my head, probably to my head, through a friend's head. Mm -hmm. And he told me, like, you like eating, you like traveling. Why don't you write about your experiences about different restaurants and different places you visit? Uh, my blog started as a, actually still is a food and travel blogger, but I majored more into travel. And that is how I started writing. I wrote my first article telling people I want to start writing about uh, where I eat, where I travel to, and the response was so positive. That wow. is what made me uh, okay. made me start the travel blog. So now you've focused on just travel, and you've left food and lifestyle. Yes. Uh, may, right now, majorly I want to do travel, mm -hmm. but you see, when you travel, you get to uh, experience different foods. So I incorporate food in the travel blog, but majorly I do travel. And how do you how do you find your audience? My audience currently I don't have a specific audience. Mm -hmm. I'm still um, new, but possibly in a year I'll be able to know what my target audience is. Though uh, from my blog and what um, from my statistics, I can see my audience is from 18 people are 18 years to around 37, 38 there. Oh, okay. So maybe in a year I'll be able to narrow it down to maybe if it's uh, 21 years to 35, then I'll know my demographic. Oh nice. Yes. So recently I actually saw you you attended an event of yes. bloggers and you were really dressed out, mm -hmm. you were looking amazing. Thank you. Tell me, how is it for female bloggers in Kenya? Uh, actually I think uh, female bloggers are in a larger number compared to males. Uh, like in travel, in Kenya I don't think uh, I think like we have very few male bloggers, male travel bloggers. Oh, really? I don't know why men, men fear traveling or fear writing. Maybe they fear writing. I can't yes, yes, yeah. Because even me, I'm not a writer, but I'm, I'm, I'm learning on the way. So uh, the event was very successful and uh, we had a, uh, a, a, a very high percentage of females attending more than the male. Okay. So I think the industry has more females, really, yes. And, and what, what challenges do you face as a female blogger in Kenya? Uh, currently, I'm not facing any yet because I've not traveled so much uh, since I had my blog. But I've been traveling before. Uh, but from what I see from other other bloggers who I read the articles, uh, they face challenges when it comes to people are like, "Why are you traveling alone? A, few, a, a girl should not be traveling alone in such a in such a city or when they go to Kenya." Yeah. So I think there's a a stereotype that uh, it's males are the, are the ones who are supposed to be traveling and not females. Oh, okay. Yes, but currently I'm not facing any challenges. Maybe sometimes, um, but I don't think it's a challenge when it comes to traveling, maybe a challenge to blogging, which is sometimes you lack content. You have to look for content. Because with a travel blog, you know something you can just sit down and, and write about a place where I've not been. Yeah, I, know. I have to be there to write about my experience. Yes. So possibly the challenge may be uh, I don't have time, or the place is possibly too far, and uh, many a time traveling is not really expensive. It's 
some I do affordable traveling. Mm -hmm. So I can't say cost is a big challenge for now. Yes. Oh, okay. So but then I was saying mm -hmm. um you go to these places, how how is it like do you partner, do, do you get free travels or something? Um when I started the blog I was doing everything on my own. Mm -hmm. But I've worked with um three travel agents. Okay. Uh, travel agents so far. Uh, the first one, I was not paid. Possibly, I was given a free trip just to bring my friends. Then uh, I'm I'm working on partnering with uh, tour companies. Uh, either they we go to a place, I write about, I write about the place for them. Yeah, those are my future plans. I think I should tag along and yes, get free do. travels. <laughs> so it's not always you can no, you cannot always get free travels. You have to work for them. Yeah. Either oh, you do okay. the marketing for them, either mm -hmm. you write for them. You have to do something to get in return to get something in return. So tell me, have you ever? Uh, what was your lowest moment like in this venture? Oh, uh, I don't think I've had the lowest moment yet. And I hope I won't have one. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, but uh, so far so good. Actually, so far so good. My audience is growing. Um, when I started, that to send uh, my links to everybody on my WhatsApp page. Hi guys, please have a look at my travel blog. Yeah. But now I actually don't have to send. I either put on my status or I put on my Instagram or Facebook, and then I'm getting recognition from Google. So mm -hmm. at least I'm getting wow, my amazing. own traffic from Google. Wow, so amazing. I don't have to keep on advertising I, every blog I do, every blog I do every day. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. So tell me, what is the best place you've visited so far? Oh, the best place? Uh, I can say so far, Lamu. Wow. I went to Lamu with a pack of strangers. People wow. I met online, we planned the thing online, we've never met. I sent money. To somebody I've never seen, Serious? we met at the airport. I actually saw your photos. Yes, you, you had fun. So beautiful. I should plan. Please do. So when it comes to travel blogging, who do you look up to? Uh, actually, I look up to two people. Mm -hmm. I look up to Sylvia Njoki. Okay, she is my best Kenyan blogger. And um, I look to another lady called Spirited Pursuit. She is an amazing travel blogger. You should check her out. I will, I should. Yes. So tell me, what's your biggest motivation? My motivation, especially when it comes to my travel blog, is getting positive feedback from my readers when they tell me that is a nice place you recommended. We tried, we went to this place as you recommended and we enjoyed as much as you did. Oh, wow. Yes. Wow. Nice. So, lastly, Kenzie, what mm -hmm. would you like to tell the viewers? How do we, how do they get to you, your social media platforms? My website is at www.kenziekenzie.com. All my social media handles at, are at Kenzie Kenzie. Uh, that is Twitter, Kemzi Kemzi, Instagram, Kemzi Kemzi, Facebook, Kemzi Kemzi. Thank you so much, Kemzi, for coming today. Thank you for hosting. I me. wish you all the best in everything that you do. Hi, thank you so much. Thank you so much, guys, for watching my show, Tell a Tell with Naomi. If you liked my show, please comment. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to my channel. You can find me on my social media platforms, Tell a Tell with my Naomi. Please like my page, also on Instagram. See you next time. Bye.